Good morning again. I know you're getting tired of seeing my mug, but I'm having a hard time uploading my last two videos, but uh, I'll get them up uh, pretty soon. I'm leaving paradise right now, heading along the seashore of the Upper Peninsula, going into uh, Sault Ste. Marie, and going to end up at Sugar Island to see my buddy Steve and his beautiful wife Pam. And gonna stay there for a day or so. Uh, see you a little bit down the road. You still gotta have breakfast, you know. If you don't have breakfast, the day hasn't started. Take care. Did I ever mention that I'm having such a great time? I love the solitude. And I love the countryside. Michigan is a beautiful state. And if you've never been here, you're really missing out later on well if you take a look you can see this is West Curly Lewis Highway and uh, if you've never been to the Upper Peninsula especially during the fall uh, this is it's called Whitefish Bay Scenic Byway and it is actually the most gorgeous road especially in the fall when the colors are changing, these trees are absolutely radiant with their colors. So get here when the colors are changing and follow this road. I'm actually going east from Highway 123, which is south of Paradise, Michigan, going towards Sault Ste. Marie, and I'm gonna follow it all the way. But in the fall, this is the most beautiful stretch of highway, I tell ya. So, see you later. One added thing, the speed limit is only 45 on this road, but who wants to go fast anyway? You don't want to miss anything, especially in the fall. Back to your regularly scheduled program. Well, good morning, everyone. Just letting you know this one I'm at now at Point Iroquois Lighthouse. I'm going to get out and take a whole bunch of pictures and stuff maybe a little more videos of it and uh just see what it's all about it looks gorgeous it's probably the nicest lighthouse i've seen yet see you in a bit you might be able to read this here maybe freeze it but i thought it was kind of interesting to stop it's probably one of the nicest lighthouses i've seen in a little bit so freeze it if you want. We got some nice gardens in the front too. Take a look, you can see the field stone work. Very nice. There's the lighthouse keeper's residence it looks like. But let me get around the other side and get a better. And again, everything's closed, but it's still nice to look at on a nice sunny day. Here's another shot. Sorry, I'm looking into the sun, but uh, it goes up quite a ways. Nice lighthouse. Well, we'll take a little walk down the pathway, see where it takes us. Maybe some more photo ops down here. But it's kind of nice how they got it laid out with this path. And you come around to the shoreline. Actually, it takes you down to the beach, I think. Had a fishing boat just went by a little bit ago. Looked like he was pulling some kind of a barge or something. Well, here's people playing on the beach. Awfully nice. Nice area here. Holy cow. You can see all the windmills. Way on the other side there. Oh, nice little beach. Clear water, very, very clear. 
and I'm sure very, very cold too. Okay, time for me to take some stills. Good shot of the White House. Oh, White House. <laughs> White Lighthouse. Yeah, I think it's uh, really pretty. Well, time to move on. Guess I'll get on down the road to Sugar Island. Okay, I had a real good lunch over here at, what is it? Uh, Jack's Grub and Pub. Not Jake's, Jack's. Uh, somewhere around... Uh, one of the big casinos over here. I guess they're everywhere. But, all right. Well, Steve and I are sitting over here and, oh, I don't know what it is. It's a bar right across from uh, Sulax. So, um, we're gonna just uh, cruise around the zoo today. This is uh, Toys Day. Yeah, what do you think? And then we're going to, uh, I'm going to leave probably tomorrow morning and start cruising down uh, along the UP and then uh, go over the bridge and run over to Cross Village and Harbor Springs and then maybe over to Indian River and then probably over to Hartwick Pines around Grayling and kind of meander my way back home. So uh, I don't know, I might be home either Friday or tomorrow or maybe Saturday. Hopefully Sunday, but if I get home earlier, that's fine. So I'll get on the road. There they are trying to wave to the freighter to get them to blow the whistle, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Well, they can't see them yet, I don't think. Yeah, well, they'll get close. Up, oh, they gave up. He says, heck with it. That's cool. That's pretty neat. That was great. <laughs> they come out on deck? Yeah. Did There's they? a guy on deck out there. Yeah. Yeah, I see him now. Oh, yeah. Man, those are monsters, aren't they? They are. Is this one of those thousand footers or something? No, that's I was just. What was the name of it? Do you remember? Look on your phone. I it's got American it on the phone. Integrity. Yeah. You can look it up. That is so cool. But it's not a salty. American that's just a Great Lakes cruiser. How long is it? Just a Great Lakes. That's a Great Lakes cruiser. Integrity is nine hundred eighty-nine feet. Whoa, it's close to a thousand. Close to a thousand nine hundred eighty-nine feet. American integrity. Overall length is a thousand feet. Oh, oh so it is a thousand feet footer. Is 105 feet deep, 56. Um, wow. Depth is 56. Wow. Wow. So, that's a ship she going through the Sioux Locks. 10,000 tons an hour. And she Sioux has seven Marie. cargo holds and 37 pitches. Hatches. I'm Hatches. sorry. Boy, Hucky said bitches. <laughs> <laughs>